This is our 198 hammer mill. This is the smallest hammer mill we offer that has a cyclone attachment. It comes in three different power sources. You have gasoline, three-phase electric, or single-phase electric. This model is a uh, three-phase electric. As you can see, we have a 55-gallon drum that our cyclone is going to discharge into. Before you start the machine, always make sure you grease the two grease fittings. There's one here, there's one here. There's nothing inside. Check the hammers. Everything spins freely. Be sure to lock it in place. So, once we get ready to go, we're going to discharge everything in the 55 gallon drum. What we're going to be using today is alfalfa or a bale of hay. We're going to be riding this thing through and it doesn't go too quickly because it's one of the smaller mills, but we'll show you how it works and show you how to make this into a pelletizable dust. Here we go. little prospect here so on the top of the cyclone all I did is put a the same fabric as this it's a landscape fabric for like garden molds the reason we put it here is this is a, a dust exhaust usually the ideal scenario would be to plumb this into a, a, a dust collector and that dust that you're collecting you can reuse and recycle back into the pellet as well uh, this one just somewhat lessens it down a bit we're doing this for examples so let's have a look at what we have here
there's your, we did about a half a bale of hay. And here it is, ready to be made into pellets. We did half a bale of hay with this machine that took us about five minutes, as you can see in the video. Um, obviously a whole bale will be about 10 minutes. That gives you a guideline on how much it'll actually produce. Truth be told, the hay and alfalfa, that's one of your stronger, more dense, fibrous materials. So it's not gonna work as quickly. I'll be doing a video because I need to use some ground up corn myself to clean out some of our machines. So I'm gonna do that in a moment. I'll show you the same machine doing the corn as well. One other aspect with this, with the hammer mill and having a cycle, what you're able to do is actually position it in a lot of cases over your pellet mill. So for, for example, when you're using alfalfa, the moisture content going in is going to be adequate, being around that 12, 15, 16 percent point in the last of your pellet mill. You can actually position your, your cycle on top of your, your pellet mill and feed it as you go. Take a little practice, but you can get that going as well. So, we're back showing you how to use corn for the same hammer mill in a bucket. Well, next week. See you soon.